Game four of the NLCS at Wrigley Field. The Mets going for the sweep. The Cubs trying to stay alive. Steven Matz on the hill for New York going up against Jason Hamill. Pick it up in the first inning. Two on, two out. Lucas Duda trying to get the Mets off to a good start. In the air to center field. Well hit. Fowler back. Home run, Lucas Duda. And it's a 3-0 New York lead in the first. Three for 24 in the postseason without a home run. And what a spot he picked. So here is Darno. Now the 0-1 to Darno. Swing and a drive in the air, deep to right center. Going back, Solaire away back, and it's gone! Travis Darno reaches the bleachers in right field beyond the 368 mark. Back to back home runs. Three run homer by Duda, solo homer by Darno, and the Mets have a 4 to nothing lead. Remember, Duda's been hitting lefties this year, hitting him for power, too. They're off and running, the payoff pitch, swing and a liner to right center field. That's a base hit, right around third, he scores. The ball going up the alley, Murphy hits third, he's gonna score easily, pulling into second and holding with a two run double is Lucas Duda and the Mets have a six to nothing lead. Is it possible, Howie, the owner of the Billy Goat Tavern had another goat besides the one named Murphy? They're jazzed up here at Wrigley now. 6-0 game, but the base is loaded with nobody out. And here's Castro. Line drive into the glove of right at third. What a play. In a 6-0 deficit. On the crown to first. Duda will take it himself. The run will score. Cubs are on the board at 6-1. Boy, if you're the Cubs, though, you will be disappointed if you get out of this inning only scoring a single run. In the air, will it stay playable? And Flores makes the play for the third out. He stuck with that and had to navigate a chair. Here comes Terry. He's headed out to the home plate umpire, Paul Emmel. And Bartolo Colon, a guy who's not used to coming out of the bullpen in these situations, Apparently is going to come on to face Chris Bryant with runners at first and second. Two out here at the bottom of the fifth inning. And he struck him out. Bartolo Colon out of the Mets pen. Well, ho-hum. Three for four. Here's the 1-1 to Murph. Swing and a high fly ball. Well hit. Right center. It's got a chance. It's near the wall. He did it! Another home run for Murphy! The Daniel Murphy fairy tale, at least in this series, is pretty well complete. Murphy has now homered in six straight postseason games. A two-run homer. The Mets lead it eight to one. Murphy took a slow trot around the bases. He's prancing into the dugout now. You cannot believe what has become of Daniel Murphy. Who writes this stuff? It's not really happening. Can't be. There is no save on the line with a five-run lead. If it was a 55-run lead, he still would probably be on the mound to start this ninth inning. Here's the payoff pitch from Familia to Fowler on the way. And it's in there, strike three called! The Mets win the pennant! The New York Mets have won the National League pennant! Put it in the box! The New York Mets, for the first time in 15 years, are champions of the National League. The Mets take it 8-3, sweeping the Cubs and advance to their first World Series since 2000. Daniel Murphy wins NLCS MVP. He's now homered in six straight postseason games. That's a new major league record. He also ties Lou Gehrig for seven consecutive postseason games with an RBI and a run scored. Bartolo Colon gets the win in relief. He sets a new record for most time between postseason wins, 14 years and 12 days. Joanna Cespedes had to leave the game in the second inning with left shoulder soreness, but he now has a full five days of rest as game one of the World Series, not until Tuesday night. The Mets go for their first World Series title since 1986.